guys, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It. And today I'm gonna show you how to make these super cute little pacifier clips. So if you saw my DIY personalized keychain video, this is very similar. We're just gonna do a couple of things different to turn the keychain idea into these pacifier clips. So first I have these little pacifier clip, little wooden things that I got. I will share a link to all of my supplies in the description below this video. So don't worry about that. I will link everything that I'm using. I have those. And then for the keychains, I'd kind of use some plastic beads, but for the pacifier clips, I have these silicone beads. They are soft, they're like chewable, the little like, um, some of the baby teething toys are made out of stuff like this. So these are safe for the baby to chew on. Uh, they're BPA free, latex free, lead free, all the good stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about that. And then I have some wood stuff, some little wood beads that are safe as well. And then for the alphabet letters, instead of the plastic ones that were painted that I used for the keychain, I have silicone ones that are also safe and then some little wood letters. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we have the same string we used last time. I'm gonna go ahead and cut a fairly long piece. So I'm gonna do, I have my ruler right here. I wanna know that I have plenty of extra to play with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut two feet. So 24 inches. This string comes in a pretty big bundle, so I don't have to worry about wasting it. So what we're gonna do is take one of the little wooden pacifier clips. If you haven't seen these, they just like pop open in the back. You can stick a shirt or a bib or something right in there and then they clamp close like that. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna leave a little bit of a tail like this, a few inches. So you're folding over just a few inches of a tail like that. We're gonna do that same little luggage tag thing that we did, the little loop um, when we did it for the keychain. So we're gonna stick the loop through like this. It makes a little loop and then you pull the strings, the little ends through all the way and it creates that little nice little, um, kind of like a little slip knot almost, a little luggage tag pull right on there. Now what we're gonna do is now that that's pulled through, I'm gonna tie a knot right next to that. So wrap it around your finger. So you wanna make sure your knot is as close to that end as it can be and super tight. So pull it as tight as you can. Okay. So now that I have it on like that, what I'm gonna do I've gone ahead and already laid out so that y'all didn't have to watch me try to find the beads that I wanted to use. I've already laid them out and we have choices since we have the white letters and the wood letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one down here. So I'm starting with a blue bead. You're just gonna slide it on. And what we're gonna do, and now that we have the first bead on, I know that I want to hide this tail inside this blue bead. Now this string, if you remember with the keychain, this, this cording is a little bit thick to go through here two times. And so in order to get it through, I'm gonna use a needle. I'm gonna try and, this is a rather fat needle, it has a pretty large eye on it. So I'm gonna try and get this cording through this needle. Bear with me, it's hard when the needle is under the camera and not um, right in front of my face. Okay, I've got it pulled through. Okay, and our blue bead is right here. So now what we're gonna do, that's why you wanna leave a little bit of a long tail. So like I said, you wanna leave several inches, maybe even four or five inches in the beginning when you do that little loop. And now that it's through, you're gonna wanna hold the string really tight on this bead so that it leaves a little bit of room in the hole. And you're gonna push this needle through and you're gonna try and get this cording through here. This kind of hides the tail and makes it more secure. So I have my little thimble you can just push it through like that. Now the hardest part is gonna be pulling the needle through when it's slippery, it's coming. Okay, so there we go, we got it through. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it real short. Now the next bead I have is this wood bead. Go ahead and string on. The wood bead's a little bit chunkier and so it's able to fit right there, there, the rest of the tail. So now the tail is in there, it's secure. You're just gonna keep beating the rest of the beads, put them on there. So these little clips are great for holding on pacifiers. 
as well as, you know, any kind of teething toy or um, any, really any toy that your kid or any baby wants to play with. And keeping it safe from falling on the floor so that way it doesn't get all dirty. Okay, we're just going to keep beating the same order. So it's kind of symmetrical. You can see how cute it's looking already. Okay, so now we have all the beads on there. It looks super cute. It's secure at the top. So now for the end, what we want to do is we want to leave a loop. And this is what allows you to attach it to a pacifier or a toy. I want the loop to be about two inches long after it's tied. So right here, it's about three inches. So from the bead to the end of the loop, I've left three inches, which should allow me to have enough room to tie a nice knot and still leave a decent size loop because you need the loop to be big enough for all of this to stick through so that we can attach a pacifier, which I'll show you at the end. So from the bead to the end of the string, about three inches, it does not have to be precise. And now I'm gonna wrap it and do a knot and you want the knot to be as close to that final bead as it can be. So pull it, you want everything to be really tight and secure. So let's see. That leaves it a little over two inches, so that is perfect. And you're just pulling, make sure it's as tight as it can be. You want to be really secure. Now obviously this is like a little accessory for little kids, so you wanna be really careful. Make sure everything is really secure because these beads obviously are choking hazards. So this is not something that should be left alone with a kid. It should be attached to their clothing with a toy on the other end and obviously being supervised by a parent or an adult. Okay, we're gonna string the cord back through the needle one more time. Which guys, this is honestly the hardest part of the whole thing. I wanted to use the thicker cording. It really is so much nicer and sturdier. Um, but these beads do have kind of small holes. Sorry, I had to put it in my lap to get it through. Okay, so one last time, we are going to kind of pull the knot out of the way and stick this needle back through here. Actually, this wood, this one is, wood one is so big, I might just push it through both, let's see. Some of the beads have bigger holes, so obviously that makes it much easier. You know, use a thimble or something to push it Let's see if I'm able to pull it out. It might be too hard to go through two beads at once. Let's see. Yeah, that might have been too tricky. Okay, let's just go just through the just through the blue one. So push it as far as you can with the thimble. I hope you can see that. I'm just pushing the thimble. These beads are kind of squishy, so you can really push it. And then the hard part is, there we go. That wasn't that bad. Like I said, since these are so, the wood beads are bigger, I'm going to go ahead and just push it through the wood bead as well. See if I can get it out. Well. There we go. Okay, and then you can cut the extra string right close to the bead. Okay, you guys. So that right there is a pacifier clip. So let me grab the pacifier and show you how it works. So guys, I'm making these as gifts. I don't have, I don't have any little ones or any babies anymore. My youngest is five. So I don't have pacifiers and chew toys lying around. But this is a pacifier that my girls play with their dolls with. It's a little bit different. It doesn't have, um, you know, the little ring that sometimes they have. Normally, you would attach it to the ring. But we're going to attach it to this, just one of the openings right here. So this will keep the pacifier from falling on the ground and getting dirty. So you take the little loop right here. In case you aren't familiar, and you stick it through the hole on the pacifier or the toy. And this is why the loop needs to be so long, because then you're going to stick all of this back through the loop to secure it. So all the beads have to be able to fit through there and then pull it and now it's secure. So if you aren't familiar with them, they pop open. You can put a shirt right in there and then you clamp it all shut and that's how it attaches. And it would hold their little toy, their pacifier it would stay attached right to their shirt. So there we go. So I'm gonna go and speed it up while I make another one. Hopefully you get the idea, but that way you can watch it one more time in case you have any questions about how to do it. But this is just an easy way to use the same keychain idea, the same little beads, um, 
It's the easy way to use the same keychain idea and make it into a pacifier clip. Now, don't forget the main thing is you want these knots to be very secure. Obviously, you could put some kind of super glue or hot glue on there, but you don't really want the baby chewing on that. So you want your knots to be super secure. Tuck your ends inside the beads like I did the best that you can. Like I said, these beads are small. They are choking hazards. So obviously, if you're making these or you're selling them, um, make sure, you know, the people know these are not, they're not toys. They're not for um, kids to be left alone with, especially small kids. So make sure they're used uh, in a supervised kind of way, in a safe way. But I made plenty of these for my babies when they were little and never had a problem. So I hope you love them as much as I do. Okay, I'm gonna make another one. I did buy cording that was a little bit thinner to use for this. And when I, I kind of played around with it and made one, I just felt like the cording looked kind of cheap or dinky. I just didn't like how it looked. And this is doable. It takes, like I said, finagling with the needle, getting it through these beads that have smaller holes. Uh, but I just think that the size of this cord looks so nice and sturdy. It just feels like a much stronger, safer pacifier clip than using really cheap cording, really thin cording. So, Okay, for this one, I'm going to use the wood beads again. This one's for Molly, so I'm just going to string the beads on here real quick. This is the hardest part. And ta-da, we now have Molly's little pacifier clip. And I'm gonna make one more and do it with the white letter so you can kind of see what the white letters uh, look like but I think they're turning out so cute. I love things that are personalized. These would make great baby shower gifts to give to one of your friends. I will go ahead and speed this up because I'm sure you totally have the hang of it now, but we're gonna do the same step. So 24 inches, like I said, if the name is longer, say six, seven letters, I would cut a little bit extra. If it's fraying, like this is frayed a little bit, if it's fraying too bad and it won't let you thread it, just cut a fresh end and see if that helps. Remember, if you don't pull the, the string tight right here where you're threading it, it might stick your needle through part of the string right here, which will make it impossible to pull it through. So kind of pull the thread real tight like this so it makes the hole as open as it can be. So you're pulling that string down sticking the needle straight through the hole. Okay, so guys, the variations with this are endless on how you wanna do them. So you can put the beads obviously in any order. Uh, you don't have to use wood beads. You don't have to use, um, you know, you could do all wood, you could do all silicone. So you can see on this one, I did like silicone, wood, silicone, and then all the wood name. On this one, I did the silicone, silicone, then the wood one next to the name. So, I mean, really, you can do it however you want. You can use whatever colors you want, as many beads as you want. There's no right or wrong way. Just whatever you think is cute. And, you know, if you're a friend, if you're making it for um, a baby shower and she has certain colors she's using for the baby, for the nursery, it'd be fun to do it in that color, kind of that color scheme to match. But like I said, there's really no right or wrong way. Okay. So I'd love for you to comment below and tell me what you think. Um, yeah, what you think about these? Are they easier to make than you thought they'd be? Do you prefer the wood beads for the letters for the names or the little silicone white ones? I'd love to know kind of what you think if you plan to make them for some baby shower gifts or um, yeah, what you want to do with them. If you're making it for your own baby. I'd love to know that. When I was pregnant with our oldest, I was making all these kind of things while I was pregnant preparing. So there we go. I just wanted to show you several different little variations. So like I said, um, you can do the beads however you want to put the wood beads. Don't use them. I even have these that I didn't even use 
these little kind of like honeycomb wood beads. So, I mean, there are just so many options. There's like, I, I have plain little round wood ones. So, I mean, any options with the woods, with the safe little silicone are super cute. Tons of colors. If you can see these, these are two different sets I got. So, like teals, oranges, and grays, and then a brighter set. And then, of course, the really fun little leopard ones. So, I will link all of the beads that I bought as well as like the alphabet beads and then these pacifier clips. I will link all those in the description below this video. Okay guys, so that's it. I hope you think these pacifier clips turned out as cute as I do. I think they're adorable. I love that they're personalized with the names on it, that you can mix it up with the white silicone beads or the wood little letter beads. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye guys.